Well, hello there everyone. So today I have a fun video having to do with my little man, Wolfie Anya. And they're right. Yeah. Oh, thank you for the kisses. I figured I would do um, my own take on the furry friend tag. I haven't done like a whole video dedicated to Mr. Wolf, so I thought it'd be good, you know? They need to know a little bit more about you. So technically it's like an Ask Wolf episode. So on Twitter, I asked you guys to ask me and Wolf some questions uh, to get to know him a little bit better because he's a big part of my life and I love him and you guys love him too. Actually, I first want to start out with um, the story of how I got him because I think that's important to start out. I think I, I talked about it, but I'm not really sure. So anyways, my friend was in downtown and saw that there was uh, a little puppy in this random like carpet store and uh, this guy was like uh, do you want him and my friend knew that I had been like thinking about getting a dog but honestly I was never probably going to go through with it and sent me a picture and I was like oh my god that is the cutest freaking puppy in the world then we scheduled a time to go in and look at the puppy because I was like oh it'd be nice to see like the parents in the other litter and we show up it's like in the middle of like really sketchy part of town and I seriously thought that I was going to die um it was at night I it just was not safe I was like I'm just gonna turn the car around right now and then I saw the person who was selling wolf like waving me down so I was like all right I've been spotted I can't just turn around and be rude um so I pull into the driveway, and I see Wolf, and the guy, like, just hands me this little guy, and he was so teeny, he was the teeniest little guy, so much smaller than the picture that I saw, and, um, get in this, You're, this is a story about you, um, and he, like, just needed to be rescued, he, like, I held him, and he was, like, cuddling into my neck, <laughs> Show them, show them what you did! He was like, <gasps> like this. It was like this, except like 10 times smaller. <laughs> and, um, I was like, he needs to be rescued so bad. He's terrified where he is. And this was all outside of their house. And uh, he was so dirty. It was just not, it was not good. And I was like, he needs to be rescued. So didn't see the family, like the, the mom and the dad. I honestly, I think, he might have been stolen or something because they didn't really know too much about his family so I don't even know if you're full husky or what so um, he was $200 so I tried to find an ATM because this was such a whim it was like am I actually going to get a dog right now I was like freaking out I was like all right I have to save him are you humping me right now I'm so confused um so found an ATM after like trying five because I was in a bad area of town I kept declining my card like thinking that was like fraud or something so yeah went back got him and then I got strep throat for a week so it was like a nightmare especially because he was like crying most nights and it was a lot of work but anyways that is the story of how I got wolf now to get on to some questions uh, the first one is well, you, you ask, you ask the question, you read it, okay? Alright, I'll read the question, alright. Well, what is your favorite doggy snack? Well, I'm so glad you asked this because it's a very important question because I love my, my treats. Uh, alright, so he is obsessed with these. They're just like sweet potato fries. I'm pretty sure they're healthy for him too because sweet potatoes are good. Well, do you want one right now? Should we show them? I think there's actually a question that says, have you taught Wolf any tricks? And yes, I have, and I'm going to show you right now. He doesn't get a treat unless he does a trick, right? This is what they look like. He's like, I want it. All right, let's show them one of your tricks. Come here. So he has a routine. Wolf, sit. Sit. Paw. Down. Bounce. Bounce. You got it. Good boy. So he has that routine. Teaching him a new trick is... Sometimes it can be very easy. Sometimes it can be... Uh, frustrating to say the least. Teaching him to lie down was definitely really difficult because he was so used to getting his treat on paw that when 
I, he would do the sit and then he'd do the paw and then I was trying to teach him to lay down, he'd get so frustrated. He would just like bark at me and just like contort his body because he didn't understand. Like, I'm doing the trick that I've always gotten a treat for, why am I not getting it? So I just had to keep pushing him down and then giving him the treat till he finally got it. Bounce, he learned in like two minutes, literally. Try teaching him rollover, still a work in progress. We'll see how that goes. What is Wolf's favorite toy? Um, it's actually this one that Megan didn't even get for him. She got it for me. I think he thinks that it's his child. Wolf, look! Is this yours? He's like, don't just drop me, I'm eating my, my snack. I love it. I think he thinks it's like a child or something, a baby puppy. But this is disgusting. It's gotten so dirty. He brings it outside and takes it everywhere. And it's disgusting. He like takes it where he poops too. Ugh. I can't believe I took it. I need to wash my hands after that. How old is Wolf? I'm not exactly sure because I rescued him and the people didn't really know. They said he was eight weeks when I got him, so I think now he's he's gotta be like four months, I guess. I think so. I don't know. How big is he supposed to get? I wish I was a mind reader, uh, but unfortunately I'm not. Or not a mind reader. <laughs> a future teller. Uh, so I have no freaking clue. I, when people ask me that, like, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Like, oh, he's going to be this high and, like, this amount of pounds. I have no idea. I feel like he's going to be, like, Clifford the Big Red Dog. Do I want more pets? Uh, <laughs> I do. I want another puppy. Like, he's grown up so fast. And, um, you need to be in this more. This is a video all about you. Um, he's grown up so fast. Like, remember when I held him up that one time and I was like, look how little he is. I mean, he's still little, but he's getting so much bigger. Like, I could lift him up with one hand before. Now, he's just, like, so heavy. How did I choose Wolf's name? Well, actually, the name came before the dog. I am obsessed with wolves and... I knew that I wanted to get a dog that looked like a wolf, so I could name it Wolf. <laughs> so, he, he came after the name, which is, I don't think, normal. I think you get the dog and then you put the name to it, but it fit perfectly for this guy, because he is a little wolf. How is it like having strangers all up on him? It is so frustrating. I knew having the most perfect, beautiful looking dog in the world was going to be tough and public, but I didn't know how difficult that was going to be. People like need to learn like how to like come up to people. First of all, don't just come up to my dog and think that it's okay to like kiss it. Him, him not it, wolf. Um, that's almost like someone coming up to your child and like kissing it. That is so offensive to me. Like, uh, what gives people the right? Because, oh, it's just so frustrating. And then people will just go up and talk to Wolf and just completely ignore me. I'm going to make a skit about this because it's so ridiculous. The people that I've come across that it, it just blows my mind how people interact with dogs. It's just, it's just crazy. Give this video a thumbs up if you want to see that skit. Alright, so the last question is, is there anything that Wolf does that makes you laugh? He does so many things that makes me laugh and happy. Isn't that right, buddy? Um, but <laughs> he has a routine and every morning I will take him downstairs and he knows that it's, um, he has to go pee and poop. and. He'll always like go pee and then he'll come right back towards me and be like, nope, go poopies. And then he turns right around and goes poop. But he squats and he stares at me with such concentration that it's so hard not to laugh because he's like, <laughs> while he's pooping. But he's like, you proud? You proud of me, Paul? I'm letting the demons out. I'm very proud of him. I guess that's it for uh, the furry friend tag. I am so lucky to have this little squish. Uh, he definitely comforts me on days that I'm feeling sad, especially this past week has been kind of hard, but, um, he's been there, and when, it's so funny, when, like, you're, you're sad and down, they know, like, they read off of you, and, um, like, I don't know, he's just, he's such a sweet puppy, and he's, like, not high maintenance, he's just a good little guy, and he's so smart, and I just love him, and I'm so lucky, I feel like I have the best pet in the world. Alright, well, do you want to say goodbye? Alright everyone, I love you. I hope you liked this video. If you did, give it a big puppy thumbs up. Yeah. Um, I will see you guys. Ow! Ow! Dog abuse, save me! 
Um, I will see you guys all tomorrow. Good and bye. When I can't do that, um, it involves you guys. But to keep my life, have things to myself, I can't reveal everything. So um, I'm just going through something that's been really difficult. And I guess I'm just working through my feelings and trying to, to solve.